Hello everybody, it's me, and welcome back to another video. Now, this is going to be the last video I'm posting before I am actually back home because this is the last day of my vacation at the beach. Now, to celebrate that, I'm going to use a lumen I have not used in a very, very long time. Munch. Um, it's a, a brawny, clever one. Uh, Brawny Clumsy, very clever. And we're going to be using Bulk Up, Thunder Chomp, Double Black, and Mega Chomp. Now, honestly, I was really choosing between Thunder or Blaze. Um, and then I noticed that most of the plant types that are used can die to Mega Chomp. And if you're worried about, say, like, Cetamars or something, you could drop it for Chili Chomp. But Double Black would still probably 2 a KO after, after a few plus ones. But yes, here's the TPs. It's very chaotic, I know. This is my first time building a Munch Wheel. Um, we have... 36 health, I think, just for some bulk. 92 energy, so we get to 250. It's kind of a lot of energy investment. You could probably, like, bump that down if you wanted to. Um, but I didn't. Um, 148 melee attack is just, like, the most melee attack that we can get. Without, like, any of the TPs, all the other TPs messing up. Um, 192, um, range defense is so then we are, so Protagon gets melee attack. Um, and 32 speed is so then after, I think... One plus, I'm not sure. I think it's two plus ones that we outspeed Nimble Protagon. And yeah, I'm pretty excited for this. Hopefully you're excited too. Um, let's hope we don't miss our chomps and let's get into the first battle. All right, here we go into the first battle. Now, okay, my internet, the internet here is being very, very laggy, but we're going to work with it. Also, if you guys, probably a few detectives noticed that I'm using a different Vesperatu set. I just read this the other day. Um, it's just... It's just going to be like a blood dream, and I'm not really sure how to build it. It might get a little help with it later, but that's just what I'm going to use for now. Um, actually, it's like a really good battle for Munchwheel. Munchwheel hits everything pretty hard once we get our speed going. Um, I'm going to lead Odasho. I haven't used Odasho in a long time, but now League's over. I can use Odasho again. I miss him. Now, everything's going to be a little slow. I'm actually not even entirely sure how this video is going to turn out because of how, like, laggy everything is currently being. But I'm not sure that videos actually run on Wi-Fi. So it should all be completely fine. I'm just going to hope everything works because, as you can see, it's, it's pretty laggy. <laughs> the internet is <laughs> not the best internet. I'm not going to be a liar. Um, okay, let's go for a sap plant, because Odasho. I haven't used Odasho in a while, so. Crit? Nope. Mm, mm-hmm. First move back and it misses. Odasho, come on, man. You're better than this. Jamie. Jamie should give Zulong Frostbeam. I think something could be fun. Um, give Metronet Sleet Shot. Um, it would be able to hit bug types just a little bit, but not hard enough to where it would be completely devastating. Protagon. Protagon. Well, you're getting yeah, you're getting melee attack. Alright, well, I'm not sure what attack you're gonna use here. Um, I'm just gonna go for Sap Plant. I mean, I know Odasha's good against Protagon, though. Metallic Blast. Okay. Alright, well, Odasha's just gonna win. Okay. Metal Blast might come out again, but I don't wanna risk it. I'm gonna go for Pestilence. I do want to get the oh the munch wheel on the field though. That's my primary goal right now. Now Proteon's dead, and that's great. Although I haven't used Odasha in forever, I still know how the heck it functions. Okay. 
we're gonna go for our rest. Remember when Porygon did not have Thunderstrike? I'm pretty sure it didn't have Thunderstrike for like a few days, and then when it got it got Thunderstrike from the Moodagon update, I'm like 30% sure that happened. Cause it was like it was like um what did people use? Um was it Ancient Instinct, Dodge, Metal Blast, slash Dark Burst, and Energy Surge? Or was it like Dark Burst, Energy Surge, Metal Blast, and Dodge? Does that make a lot of sense? Okay. I could go into Munchwheel, and then I can start stacking my stats. That would for sure live a hit. I'm gonna do it. Forget if he Thunder Strikes, he Thunder Strikes, and we lose the Munchwheel. Oh. Okay. I'm not that upset about that. <laughs> I don't know what's gonna happen now, but. <laughs> Power siphon again. Okay. Well, just much more such a scary Lumion, honestly. Like, when it gets in the field, it's, it's just terrifying. Bulk up again. So I have this, like, trail mix that I'm eating, that I've been eating throughout the vacation. It says peanuts, raisins, cocoa gems, almonds, and cashews. The cocoa gems are M&Ms. I just find it so funny how they call them cocoa gems. Well, now we are a very powerful Majora, plus two Munchwheel. If it, not, if it doesn't die to Sap Plant, then... Oof. We're a plus two, plus two, plus two Munchwheel right now. Mm. And since we're clever, we'll live Zulong Thunderstrike. play. Is it scorching skin? That was a crit. It is scorching skin. <laughs> <laughs> Who would have guessed? <laughs> Dang it. Well, so hopefully we still get some decent damage. Probably just should have went for the Mega Chomp there. Expecting Scorching Skin, but I didn't. Now this costs the least amount of energy, so we're gonna click Thunder Chomp. Even though it has a chance to miss, it's better than wasting a lot of energy. Remember, we are still plus two. So, we're good. Problem with Munchwheel at the very start of the game, it didn't have any setup. Um, besides, I don't know, oil leak. <laughs> Wasn't even set up. Um, I mean, you could, like rev up with oil leak. I have speed control. Mm. That can be something you can do. Hello? Are you gonna move? actually it'll lower my defense but I still have plus two yeah now I'm mega chomp three times it's 160 energy but I have 90 left but we're fine No, 
I mean, four times. Mm hmm. We had to get burned, right? The scorching skin in Fernix. Unfortunate. Flinch? Easy? Mm. Do we live? Oh my god. We gotta flinch it. Yeah, we gotta flinch it here. Gotta flinch it. Dang. Dang it, man. I'm gonna have to get flinches. <laughs> oh, I forgot my energy stats in this thing freaking suck. And I need to go get shards. It's fine. I don't know why I'm this vet. I just wanted to. Too long? <laughs> I outsped you once we live. <laughs> Bye. <clears throat> bye bye. Oh, wait, did I say GG before the game ended? I did. I thought it was over. My GG's not even appearing. That's how laggy this is. The internet's gotten worse the further we've gotten in this. It's ridiculous. It's gotten to the point where the TV gets delayed sometimes. It's terrible. Hello? Do something. Is this guy gonna move? Hello? Oh my god. This is already a 13 minute battle. <sighs> oh! I got banned. I was looking in Discord. Excuse me? Why did I get banned? You know what? It's fine. Um, I'll try another battle though. <laughs> okay. It took me literally like five minutes to actually get back. Like, it's impossible. I cannot play it. I don't know why. It's it's too laggy. But yes, hopefully that one battle was good. If you don't fight a Scorching Skin in Phoenix, then I'm pretty sure you're going to be pretty good to go with this Lumion if it would load. Um, yeah. Um wheel the video and it did work out kind of it's like a really it's a defensive setup sweeper is what the set is supposed to be just don't fight a um a scorching skin in Fernix and I think you're good to go or the um amazing scorching skin uh what is it called I explode that I made um <laughs> this that would stand this way anyway I hope you did enjoy the video and if you did smash like subscribe it is helpful anyway Thank you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.